Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to share a new feature with you that I'm thinking about for mass transit. And really, it's not a mass transit feature. This is really just leveraging open telemetry in a way that I think is kind of clever, you know? And clever doesn't mean good. It just means I thought it was kind of neat. So let me kind of dig into this here. I have questions every now and then where people are like, I'm writing unit tests and I wanna make sure that I consume my message, but I have a whole bunch of other stuff that happens. Like I have a consumer that publishes an event and then a saga starts and other things happen. And I really wanna wait until everything is done processing before I do the next step to test my assertions. So typically what we see is something like, you know, oh, I wanna, you know, publish an event and then wait for something to happen. In this case, I have the ping handled consumer, which just has a static Boolean saying was handled. And of course this takes a little time to run, so we're gonna make it do its thing. The actual consumer of the ping message is just going to publish that ping handled and then respond back if a response is requested. So when I run this just as is, and I look at the logs, what I end up with is a false assertion because I've published the message, but then I'm asserting right away, like, did this message get consumed? And it hasn't, I mean, it's been published, but it hasn't actually been consumed yet. Now, Mass Transit Test Harness has some things like, was this message consumed and, and checks like that, but that doesn't mean that any downstream messages have been consumed. So one of the things I wanted to do was get around that. So what I did is I thought about it and I thought about the way OpenTelemetry works. And I thought, why can't I just create an activity in OpenTelemetry, which creates a trace ID, which can have any number of spans and child spans, and since Mass Transit supports open telemetry natively, it's going to carry that through all of the consumers and any downstream messages that get processed. So I wrote this little wait extension method, and I don't know where this is gonna end up, but essentially I have a tracked activity that starts an activity, sets up a task, adds an activity listener to the Mass Transit activity source, and then just starts banging off a bunch of activities and keeping track of it. And every time one starts or stops, it checks to see if they're all done. If they're all done, it, it exits out and so on and so forth. So a lot of gunk underneath the covers. But what I end up with is by calling, putting this little wait block in here and then checking if ping was handled, I'm able to very quickly see as it runs, yes, it was handled because the send, the send, the consume, the consume, the receive, Anything that was initiated as part of that publish, and that publish specifically, is waited until it's done. So I think that's kind of cool. In fact, if I really wanted to, I could, um, you know, do you know, run multiple publishes at a time. Anything that I produce within that is going to have that parent span ID or parent trace ID, and it's going to wait for all of those traces as Open Telemetry publishes those out to my observer. So. I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know if you know this is something that'll make it in, but it's already in the develop release. Let me know if you think this is interesting or if it's useful. I mean, it's probably gonna stay there, but it, I'd consider it experimental right now. But it kind of gives you a new way to say, hey, I wanna publish something, wait for everything else to finish, and then make my assertions you know, on the outcome of that test. So kind of a cool feature. Let me know what you think in the comments. We'll see you next time.